Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the all-new fully electric Chevy Silverado HD, and then also the GMC Sierra HD as well, because again, they're uh, sibling vehicles, but yes, they are going fully electric with these vehicles, and that means that... The Duramax's days are numbered, so let's get right into it. So this is a pretty interesting news. This obviously has come after Chevy just released the concept version of their all new electric truck, uh, the Chevy Silverado 1500 EV. And obviously now we're gonna be talking about the heavy duty uh, version. Uh, and so yeah, it's, it's happening pretty fast, uh, but it's kind of expected, right? You're gonna, we already saw the Silverado EV and soon we'll see the GMC Sierra version of that, you know, 1500 series. And uh, it'll be quite some time until we'll see the heavy duty, but we'll kind of get into that in today's video. But yeah, Chevy's basically, and you know, GM in general is just making this push to do fully electric uh, trucks across the lineup, including the HDs. So first off, before you get too scared, this isn't going to happen until 2035. It's going to be quite some time. Uh, now, the reason this is going to be so far off is the EPA has different restrictions for heavy duty vehicles versus light duty vehicles. Uh, so for the light duty vehicles, and that includes the majority of cars that are sold to the public, they have to have crazy fuel economy ratings by like 2026, whereas with the heavy duty vehicles, that doesn't come until later on. It's like 2040 or something like that. And that'll kind of apply to uh, this video. And so, right, GM and other automakers have quite some time to uh, redo their heavy duty trucks. So we have over a decade of uh, diesel trucks to come. So uh, again, don't worry about that. But that being said, what General Motors has basically said that they're committed to is getting rid of all of their gas powered vehicles by 2040. Uh, so by 2040, they, no longer want to sell any sort of uh, combustion powered vehicles and there's a few other automakers that have basically you know aligned with gm and they've all promised the same thing and so what will essentially happen is they plan on having this fully electric uh, silverado 2500 and 3500 out by 2035 and so then there will be that five-year transition period where they'll still sell the gas and the diesel truck alongside this fully electric uh, heavy duty truck and so then it'll give buyers a chance uh, to, you know, see the fully electric truck next to the newest version of the diesel truck and kind of slowly cross them over. And, I, and I'm guessing there's going to be a hybrid variant. And I, I don't think the hybrid variant will be too far off. I'm guessing within the next, you know, two, three, four years, GM will probably have some sort of hybrid components in their uh, heavy duty trucks. And so it'll be, you know, kind of like a gradual transition where it's like, okay, now, right now we just have the diesel powertrain and the gas powertrains, and then it's going to transition into hybrid powertrains. Then it'll transition into fully electric and, you know, they'll sell all of them side by side, I'm sure, right, to boost sales and to, again, get buyers slowly used to the idea of going fully electric with these trucks. Um, and then the other reason why they're waiting is they're just waiting for uh, battery technology to get better. Uh, the battery technology we have right now is great for smaller cars uh, and SUVs. And, you know, there's, we're starting to see uh, that technology be adopted by larger vehicles like large full-size SUVs and then some half-ton trucks like the new F-150 Lightning, uh, for example. And then obviously the new Hummer EV, which is you know, massive, um, but they're having to do some pretty crazy stuff in those vehicles to make it work to where they have a decent amount of range given the technology we have right now. Like the Hummer has multiple battery packs, so it's extremely heavy, uh, and that's all they can do to get a decent amount of range out of that. Uh, and so you can imagine that's not necessarily super practical for a heavy duty truck that, uh, you know, it's okay if they're heavy, but at the same time, the heavier the truck is, the lower the payload capacity is. And so if it has a lower payload capacity, then it's not as practical from a towing perspective and from a hauling perspective. And so it just kind of uh, muddies things up overall. And so that's, that's the big reason why GM and other automakers are waiting to uh, do a fully electric HD truck is they're waiting for us to basically have smaller, lighter weight battery packs so they can maximize payload capacities with range. Uh, because truck buyers are a little bit different than your average car buyer, right? Truck buyers, again, they're going to look at the capability of the truck. What's the towing capacity? What's the payload capacity? And frankly, EV trucks just aren't there on either right now. Uh, and then aside from that, they're also going to be looking at what is the range uh, towing, not just driving around. Because uh, that's really important for people that are towing, right? If you're, you know, 
hauling a load across the country or even across the state or whatever, right? You don't want to have to stop all the time, and especially with an electric vehicle, you have to charge it. You don't want to have to be stopping every 100, 200 miles to charge it up, right? Uh, with diesel trucks right now, uh, even when towing again, depending on circumstance and all that, you can still get several hundred miles of range out of them, depending on the truck, depending on the fuel tank size. And, you know, that's a diesel truck where you can just stop at a gas station, fill up in five to 10 minutes, and then be off on your way. Not have to go to a charging station and sit there and charge your truck for 30, 40, 50 minutes. Um, and so, since that's so important to heavy duty truck buyers, that's kind of why this is getting uh, pushed off. Um, but again, what this ultimately means is there will no longer be diesel trucks in the next couple of decades. And so it's it's a pretty interesting transition overall. And uh, the thing that I think um, we'll be telling is what we see in the near future with battery technology, with how that improves and uh, everything alongside that. Um, but I don't want this video to go on for too long. So I want you guys to let me know what you think about uh, GM and other automakers transitioning their heavy duty trucks into fully electric trucks and even you know hybrid trucks. If that's something that you're open to if you currently own a diesel truck and uh, the timeline that we have, right? Is this time frame reasonable or would you like it to be a little bit uh, longer? If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next video.